Hello, hello, my lovely friends from around the world. Mari Smith here, coming to you from a glorious sunset in San Diego. Flip the camera around. And there's our view. Okay, so I shared this with you last night. You might have seen it then. Well, actually, I think it was just before sunset. Another quick glimpse. I'm here for a few nights at the lovely Marriott Marquis. That is the Coronado Bridge. And that is Coronado over there, of course. And this is the uh, San Diego Harbor. You can see the sun just went down. How glorious is that? Hello, Heather Nichols in the house. Hey, hey, hey. Nancy Newland, you're so cute. You always come on these shows, and I just love you. Isn't that amazing? I wonder how many times those boats actually go out. Is there actually like some studies about how many times you take the boats out? <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. And so, and then, uh, you know, the pool and everything down there is all fun. And the lovely sunset. And man, what a day we have. What a day. Er, oh, hang on. There he is. Hi. It's an amazing day at Social Media Marketing World. You can see the lovely sunset and all the great people today that added so much to the event. Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they they did. did. yes. yes. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Alex. She says, great talk. You filled them. I did. I know. They filled their own. Christopher said there was a whole bunch of people standing outside. They couldn't get in. Yes, they were waiting in the hallway. <laughs> anyway, my goodness. We just had a nice little bite of dinner, and we're out on this lovely balcony. And um, tomorrow, so I'm at Social Media World. Yesterday was like the opening uh, parties, how they do that, on the Midway, which you can see right over there. And I can go like this because the microphone is better this way. So you go like that, you probably see just the little tip of the midway right there. <laughs> Heather says hi, Christopher. And uh, hi, Sean Smith from Vancouver Island in the house. Desiree, I think I saw Jessica there too. Jessica is on Team Mari. Sammy, hello. Oh, thanks for seeing that. Thanks, Sammy. Yes, it was really great. Hi, <laughs> Alex says, I want to know the story about how you and your handsome man met at Social Media Marketing World. <laughs> so the rumor on the street, it is true, it is very true, that Christopher and I met at Social Media Marketing World two years ago. Yes, and there was a secret hashtag that we won't reveal. There was? It's so secret, I don't even know it. Yes, yes. When we met, we were introduced by a dear mutual friend, Tracy Hassey, who's been with us today. And then we bumped into each other a number of times throughout the rest of that year. And then uh, we got together as a couple um, toward the end of 2015, beginning of uh, 2014, I mean, beginning of 2015. It turned out we had a whole bunch of mutual friends, a bunch of mutual friends. It's a wonder we had not met before. We are extraordinarily compatible. And he is my best friend and my soulmate and my business partner. And I could not wish for a better man. He really adds so much value to my life. We're a good match, aren't we? We're a great match. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him to say that. <laughs> anyway, so here's the dealio. You know, it's so funny because my throat's a little hoarse. I've been talking all day. First thing this morning, actually, way over this, we're in the South Tower. And then you can go all the way over the that's No, we're in the North. Yeah, we're in the South Tower. This is the North Tower over here. And uh, I had a wonderful interview with Michael Hyatt. Do you all know Michael Hyatt, Platform University? Wonderful man. Michael and I have been connected online for so long. And we both, well, I've spoken to, this is my fourth year in a row. Michael's been here, this I think is the second or third year in a row. Um, but it's the first time we're meeting in person and I got to go and have a lovely interview with him uh, this morning. That went really well. You might have seen a little clips and a couple of small clips from Christopher and a few others and uh, some uh, photos and whatnot. Then I met with a new client and then I did my talk at 2 o'clock and then I went to the Animoto booth. I am a brand ambassador for Animoto, a very, very happy one. Uh, to be to uh, to be sure, um, Animoto Video is really really awesome. What you can do with that app. So we went and we created a whole bunch of video content. I did some interviews and they got some really cool things coming. And uh, yeah, Nancy says I came back horse from a conference. That you attended? Yeah, just so much talking. Oh, there you go. I'll use my right hand. Hey, I can stand like that, and then you can see me. So I have a pretty top on, but I've got like just little shorts on the bottom, so don't look too close. <laughs> Anyway, so Facebook Live, uh, is it working for you? Are you able to um, do some repurposing? That's one of the things that was coming up today is how to repurpose video content that you're already taking, right? So like a Facebook Live. 
and then you can do your live video shoot like we're doing right now and then you can actually go and download it I, I heard that today that a number of people said oh I didn't know you could download your Facebook live videos from either your personal profile or your page it's not obvious actually Cindy from Andy Motor was telling me that today it's not obvious how to do it sometimes the best and easiest way is you simply click on the timestamp okay once it's on the wall it's recorded and it's you've done your live broadcast you click on the timestamp and then what that does is opens up in a, a light box and then at the bottom you click on options it's right under the video options and then you can click edit video you want to change up the thumbnail add in a call to action you can also download it there so if you download it you can then you know load a whole bunch of them up into Animoto and create like a highlight reel uh, Facebook live highlight reel that was a great uh, a great um, idea today from Cindy Animoto hi Michael Brown in the house Sean Smith deploying live at social media account yes I should just flip it around. I just like to hold it portrait, but then when the comments come, it's easier to hold it landscape because then you've got yourself and you've got your comments here. Uh, even in groups. So, Nancy, what are you saying about groups? Yeah, oh, you know what? What I discovered about groups. If you have a secret group or a closed group, you can't download the video. And a open group, I need to experiment with that. I recently changed my leadership group to. Um, to uh, public to open so I think you might be able to download it from there uh, Nick hello there you said you've started using Facebook live on your page in Australia stay-at-home mom that's wonderful Eric a selfie you know I have a selfie stick I have a selfie stick in my hotel room here I also have uh, microphones and I have a whole bunch of gear from iographer iographer is wonderful like holders and little with those little gorilla pods and oh the sun was going down I'm like oh grab my camera I'll go have some Facebook live fun with my peeps. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Hey, Feddy, Feedy. Isn't that too noisy for you here? I might come and stand like this. So it's a little bit less noisy. There. I hope you can't see that our room's too messy. Actually, it's not. I cleaned it up earlier. <laughs> so, Feddy or Feddy, you're saying that you use Hootsuite to post every day on all of your social networks to feed and get better SEO wonderful but when I check what I posted I can see that Facebook put something like via Hootsuite because yeah yeah and then it's, it's telling me to do see more so I've got the feeling this goes to every social network sorry folks I know I'm wobbling the video if you make your post via Hootsuite it has less weight than if you post directly on each network what do I think I think you have to use the native scheduler on Facebook Hootsuite I love to use for Twitter uh, Twitter and what else um, that's about it Twitter and LinkedIn that's what I use Hootsuite for I, I personally prefer I much prefer the uh, native scheduler for Facebook because of that very reason let's see how the sunset's doing see that pretty huh Google Plus oh you mean for scheduling yeah absolutely yeah Jonathan you can use Google Plus for scheduling thank you Nancy Oh good, yeah, Nick. I think I really like Animoto has a mobile app and a, and a desktop. Dan in the house. Hi, yeah. Can we go live on iPads? I believe you can. Holy crap! I should totally know that. I have an iPad. I want to get one of those new ones. The iPad Mini with a stylus. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, great point, Fede. Seema. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Desiree. Good. It is. I know. It's a lovely sunset. Ooh, okay, so, turn my phone again, it pops. See, when Facebook first brought out Facebook Live, and it was the square format, which is really good for being able to split the screen, because you got yourself, and then below, or to the side, you have your comments. Uh, plus, you know what you could do, is you could download your video, and you could use 60-second clips on Instagram, right? And you could actually take little clips and put them up on Twitter, Twitter is uh, 30 seconds is their max over there, isn't it? Yeah, Nancy says on an iPad. I haven't tried about it. Yeah, thank you. Desiree says, yep, you can absolutely go live on an iPad. So very good. If you just joined us, hello, greetings. We're coming to you live from lovely San Diego. You can see the sunset and the reflection of my hotel room window there. We're on the 16th floor here in the lovely Marriott Marquis. And shout out to the Marriott Marquis SD. They gave me a lovely little gift uh, basket earlier. I had a yoga pad and a yoga man I mean it's some lovely munchies chocolates and nuts <laughs> Anna de Jesus Termia Termina Termina she says yes on the iPad wonderful good to hear hello Beverly Hills in the house 
You guys are awesome. So uh, anybody here, like, what are you seeing that's interesting with Facebook Live? Uh, what are you doing creatively yourself or what you've seen others do? Um, what do you find? Who do you subscribe to? Who you really enjoy subscribing to? I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments below. Tomorrow morning, day two of Social Media Marketing World, I'm going to be on a panel with uh, my good friend Joel Calm hosting it. It's going to be fun. I'm talking about Facebook Live, of course. We have Sean Puri. That's S H A A N. Sean is his name. I hope I'm saying it right. He's the CEO of Blab. Hands up who likes Blab? Uh, so the CEO of Blab. And then also Kim Garst is going to be talking about Periscope. Who do I subscribe to you? Well, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> I'm honored. Marissa, hi, Dallas. Michael, well, the biggest new thing that I learned, biggest new thing that I learned, from here, from uh, the social media world, gosh, I learned that I need to clone myself. No. <laughs> Kidding. No, seriously, I have to watch my energy, especially my throat. I tend to feel in my throat chakra when I do a lot of talking, a lot of talking. I need to go back to my singing lessons. Shout out to Rebecca, the lovely Rebecca Randall in San Diego. She's a great singing coach, vocal coach. And Nancy, you're saying that you can like others' comments on mobile, but not on, on laptop. That is interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah. Where am I from? I am Scottish, Canadian, and Californian. I've been in California since uh, 1999. Um, yeah, and I'm going to turn the camera around one more time here. Hey, Brian Fonzo in the house. Brian is a bit of a ninja with live video. I know that you're always doing Periscope and uh, Facebook Live. What else do you do? Blab and Snapchat. You're one of those Snapchat people. <laughs> it's glorious color. Look how it's reflecting in the building. Anyone want to take a dive? That's a long way down there. Ooh, hold on to your phone tight, Brian. <laughs> Boy, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Of course, when I'll ever. Nick, what you're saying to me, I find Facebook Live perfect for connecting with our community and just showing behind the scenes and chatting. That is so, that's so true. That's one of the top really cool uses of Facebook Live, behind the scenes, connecting, chatting. Now I'm going to tell you something, all my female friends especially here who um, can relate to what I'm about to say. Um, okay, so I never go on camera without at least some makeup. Sometimes it's stronger than others. I've actually got false eyelashes on right now because I typically do when I'm on stage and I was doing a photo shoot, some interviews, you name it. And it's like at the end of the day, I'm like tired. I feel, oh my gosh, my eyes are bloodshot. I need to fix my makeup. And, and it's like you look at yourself and think, oh my gosh, okay, I look so like tired and I don't want to go on camera. And then it's like, you know what? Get over yourself. It's all good. You better just press the button and say, hi. And Everybody's human, right? But I think that's one of the biggest things. In my interview today with Annie Moto, uh, one of the questions they were asking me is like, what, what are some of the tips for helping people to just get started with Facebook Live? And especially for people who might not be um, comfortable on camera. The truth is not necessarily everybody is. And all I, well, my answer was actually, you know what? It just takes practice. Like, believe it or not, I was a very shy child, very shy, extremely soft-spoken. And I used to hide down underneath my book uh, in English class, hoping that the English teacher wouldn't call on me to read aloud. <laughs> I swear, honestly, I'm like, no, don't make me read aloud. And then just over time, in my teen years, I went to Toastmasters. I did a lot of speaking and workshops and obviously webinars. And over the years, uh, I don't normally talk about my age, but I don't mind people knowing it. I'm 49. I'm going to be 50 on August 12th. I can't believe it. My big 5-0. Never had any work done. I don't do Botox. I will not go under the surgical doodad. But one of my secrets is just to absolutely love life and be in love with life and uh, really appreciate and enjoy who you are. And uh, yeah, April, you're so cute. Remember how shy I was when I met you in 2010? Oh, I wasn't that shy in 2010, but maybe depending on the uh, circumstances, maybe I was. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. Hi, Kevin in the house. Lucy. Rob, oh, good question, list question. What's the limit for people in a list to be able to post when you're in the list? Oh, I'm not sure what you mean, Rob, but do you mean like to do a Facebook Live through a list, uh, like a friend list on your profile? I'm not sure what your question's about. Mike, Citron, Citron, which B2B company would you say does the best job at social media marketing? Ha, gosh, good question. I should have an answer for you. Let me look into my brain. 
top, top. Hey, look in the reflection. You can see this is like like going down a whole a whole like a twilight zone, purple haze. Ooh. Actually, I don't. I wouldn't say B because everything, everyone I thought of there, right there, Mike. I was going to say it's actually uh, they tend to be more B to C. I love what KLM are doing with messenger integration. KLM are the first ones to use the messenger bot. Send you your boarding pass, tell you if your plane is delayed, anything like that. Um, I know I should totally use my selfie stick and keep wobbling here when you are the little gorilla pod right there. The light's getting a little duskier. Um, yeah, um, a lot of airlines, a lot of airlines do well. I'm still at Social Media Marketing World Sybil. Yes, I am. Uh, it's only day one, so tomorrow we've got a whole other day to go. So 8.30 Pacific tomorrow morning, I will be on stage talking about Facebook Live to 3,000 people. I wish I could go live, and they won't let me go live. They're trying to limit the live. Or maybe I can, but on my phone network. Hey, your approach is right. Agree. Getting comfy on video takes practice. Uh, AQCI, Guapsi, however you say your name. How do you get Facebook Live? You should have it now if you don't have it already depending on what phone you have, but make sure you double check to download the um, uh, the latest app, okay, the latest Facebook app. Uh, Ryan, excellent question, Ryan. Is there a, uh, still a limit on the Facebook Live length? Okay, initially, this is a really good question for everybody to know, uh, the answer, uh, it was 30 minutes, it was 30 minutes. I highly recommend, I was saying this in my session today, I highly recommend that you broadcast for uh, a minimum of five minutes, if you can do 15, 20, 30 minutes, the longer you broadcast, the more reach you get whilst you are live. The algorithms do that. Uh, but it's definitely more than, um, it's more than uh, 30 minutes now. I think it's at least an hour. Thank you, Marissa, that's so sweet. Oh, you guys are so, so kind, thank you. I saw one more question in here that I wanted to make sure I get to. Hello, Montreal, Canada in the house. Uh, Eric, Eric Sandman, you're saying it's surprising to see how many Friend, oh, how friends are using live. You get to know them in a more personal way. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Steve Spangler in the house. I love you, Steve. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, Timothy Kitchen. Kind of related. Are Facebook tabs useful anymore? You know what they are? Our Facebook tabs. This is obviously if you're adding an app, if you're going to do a contest, email opt ins. Um, I am seeing. Are you seeing ones where if you are a local business or a service business you can add a tab that says services and there's a brand new one uh, called shop you can have a tab called shop so that's a facebook shop if you sell things everybody sells things but you know what i mean um christopher i think you had a comment in there i think i missed it oh animoto amazing look at look at canva here comes animoto you're funny well yeah uh now adobe post adobe post and there's a space for everybody i love all these things Great, great, uh, great apps, great tools. Uh, let's see, any other questions I want to answer for you? Eunice, uh, how do you promote your Facebook Live session? Okay, wonderful question. Yeah, really good. I have to turn the phone again. See, I obviously did not plan to broadcast for too long, but um, now my arms are getting sore holding my phone. It's my own fault. I know, you're right. I should have gotten the selfie stick. But you can see the light changing. See how the light's changing as the sun's in my, and I can see that I'm, I'm getting fuzzier which is good. This is called like the soft focus lens. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Carrie, good for you. I did my first live video today. The video looked a bit blurry when viewing on desktop. Oh, hey, everybody, everybody, there is a setting. Uh, there is a setting. Oh, I know why I've got this turned the wrong way. Hold on, we're going on a ride. We're going on a ride. We're turning around. Flip, flip, flip. There you go. I thought it was looking funny. <laughs> there is a setting on your phone and in the Facebook app that you're going to tell it to always upload HD videos. I'll have to put some screenshots in or something like that to show you because it's really not obvious. But there's a setting that you want to say whenever um, you can, you want to upload HD. And also you want to broadcast on Wi-Fi. Ideally you want to be on Wi-Fi. I just realized I don't think I'm actually on Wi-Fi for this. I think I'm out here on my, my thing. Yeah, it's not pretty. Thank you, Liz. Oh, William, wonderful question. This is cutting edge stuff. He's saying, what does the Facebook Messenger logo around your profile pic mean? It's a brand new Messenger code. It works similar to Snapchat. The purpose of the Facebook Messenger code is to open a chat dialog box with a page 
or a personal profile, guess what? Everybody here actually has both now. You have one of those messenger codes, it's like it works like a QR code, it's blue and it puts these little code things around your profile picture, or whether it's page or profile, and then what people can do is go to their messenger app. That part is not obvious, but they go to the messenger app, click the little peak people icon down at the bottom right, people icon, and then you'll see up top it'll say scan code. It'll also say my code. My code is your personal profile code, but scan code is where you can either hold your phone up to the code, if you're looking at it on desktop or a business card or a printed piece of paper or a product packaging, and a military helicopters going overhead. Um, but then, um, alternatively, what you can do is you can do a long press and save, like you could save my profile picture to your phone, and then when you go scan code, you can scan it from your phone. It sounds a little complex and convoluted. I totally understand. It actually really does. But believe me, before long, six months, definitely within 12 months, but probably within six months, messenger codes are going to become so much more mainstream, way more mainstream. They are eventually going to replace um, toll-free numbers. People are going to be like, oh, I want to reach out to so-and-so business. Boom. Facebook Messenger, instant chat customer service, plus there's going to be chatbots, right? See, last week at F8 conference, Facebook just opened up those, um, the ability to build your own chatbot. So, and that's what I mentioned earlier with um, uh, uh, KLM's really leading the way. So, I can feel it in my voice. I'm going to need to give it a rest. Uh, I've got to be up super early tomorrow. Uh, if you have more questions, I promise I'll get to them as soon as I can and in the comments and whatnot. I love you all. You're amazing. We've got one last question here from Shim. What do you think about showing recorded product videos on Facebook Live? Oh, we're showing them. Well, I suppose you could hold your phone up to a video on playing on your computer. I've done that before myself, actually. Yeah, and Facebook Live should be available for everybody. Uh, but yeah, yeah. All right, let's 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 do this. Oops, see, I'm turning the wrong way again. Here we go, that way. There we go. See, it's not as easy to turn when you're on a selfie stick. Do one last pan of the lightning now. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's really nice. I love it when all the lights are out. You're funny, I saw you were on the live stream. Did you clone yourself? I did clone myself. <laughs> Enjoy, my friends. I love you. You're awesome. Anyone that's here in the social media marketing world, we'll see you tomorrow at 8.30, bright and early. Live paddle. Bring your questions. Have a great evening, morning, afternoon, weekend. <laughs>